Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, October the 16th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. And this is a link to get into our free room, 100% free. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our trading room. I open the room every morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen, get live in the mic, and I go up to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. Now, big news. Oh boy, I'm just in the next bio also, but that's not the big news. The big news is that paper trading is finally, finally with you. Uh, you'll need our standard subscription. It's part of, it'll be part of the standard package. In the email you're getting, you'll see the link to, uh, to go to the download page. You just have to scroll down a little bit until where it says uh, the beta and just download now. And then from the toolbar, from this toolbar right there, new and brokerage plus. Okay. And you know, then you can start to play around with it. I mean, it's very simple. Uh, basically, in fact, why don't I do it? You know, I'll, I'll do it right now. See if I can actually load another one. Yes, here it is. Okay. So, I mean, it's really simple. Let's just say I wanted to, uh, trade PRQR. See how it loads right here. I can pick how many shares I want. I can pick there, there would be the price. And I could either go right at the market or if I wanted to, you know, with the PRQR, it's right now at 652. Okay. I, I am also able to do things like this. Well, I want to, I want to, I want to take it at 654. I want it to break out of here just for argument's sake. Okay. So all I have to do is say, say 654, 6.54 and buy it. And you see how it, pops up onto the chart. So now if, if it, if, um, the price hits 654, it'll take a hundred shares of it. Okay. Now I can always move it. I can move it down a little bit. I can move it up, you know, so lots of, lots of cool things you can do. This gets you out of your position, flatten. It gets you out of half your position. You can double your position, or let's say you were long. Now you want to go short or short. You want to go long. And the other thing you can do, is I think as you get more used to using uh, Brokerage Plus, you can set up, let me show you here. So let's just say you do want to trade this and you, you've looked at the chart and you say, yeah, I want to trade this. So these are all ones that I've got in here. All right. I think there's, there are some defaults, but you can add your own, basically your own buying and shorting parameters and pretty simple to do. You just click on the strategies tab right there. You right click new trading strategy. And now you give it a name. Is it a long or a short? And now here's the, here's the part where I can't help you. You know, only you can tell, you know, you, you have to determine when you want to initiate the trades between, you know, your position sizing, your entry order, your stop loss target, all that sort of stuff. You basically fill all that out and say, okay. And then once you do that, then you'll have, you know, your own buying or shorting parameter or uh, option to, to, uh, to trade it. Basically it's just one click. And of course you can add as many as you want. So that is, that is, uh, and it's real time, all real time. It's not attached to any broker. You don't have to have interactive brokers or anything like that. It's a, it's uh, it's all using our real time data. So, uh, we've been waiting a long time, you know, for this. And so now it's, now it is finally available. Okay. Let's get back to what happened today. And boy, <laughs> What happened today was Bongo, BNGO. Now we're still in low float mania. So this has 4.8 million in the float. I saw the, the news in the pre-market. There, there's the, the tan area there is the pre-market and it had popped. And I waited on this one a, a little bit and I don't often trade in the pre-market, but this is one I decided to take. I think you probably have to look at it on the five minute chart. Ooh, and there's XBio. I'm in XBio, guys. XBio ripping here. This came from this came from my uh, watch list. Lots of activity here. There was the trigger at 137. I didn't get in there. I got in at 147, I believe. And so this one is starting to to uh, to whip higher. Uh, XBio also had a big pop in the pre-market. You know, got all the way up there. And now it's taking that out. So another low float, 3.7 million in the float. So Lots and lots of action today, but let's get back to the bongo. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but man, oh man. So 
this is where I took it. I ended up taking this trade right here at, uh, I think it was one, yeah, 135, I believe, 135. And these are the levels I sold at. 180, I sold at two, I sold here at 246, and here at 281. Actually, I sold at the 246 on the way down. And unfortunately for myself, uh, and this got halted many, many, many times on volatility halts. I did not think it would have this sort of recovery. You know, typically when I see action like this, that a stock moves up this high, and then it starts giving it all back. And I looked at the news. I mean, to me, the news didn't look that spectacular, but again, what do I know after this move? But I didn't really get too uh, enamored with it, even though a lot of people were playing it here and here and here. But when it started getting up to this area here, um, when it started getting close to the pre-market high, and this area here was starting to, con well, it wasn't consolidating, but it looked like it wanted to chop through. And I almost got it at 270. And then it got halted right here. And now, you know, it's at, I think it's halted right now, again, for the probably about the 13th or 14th time today. So that was Bongo. I mean, uh, really not, not a heck of a lot more to, to talk about. I mean, I did, uh, I mean, the X-Bio is working out nicely for me. Probably have to take some off soon. I'm in here at 140, right in this level here, 149, right, right, right at that 150 mark. So I'm looking to take some off. So I want to get back into the room, guys. Um, I might have to put this on pause before I do. No, I think I'll just let it go. All right, everybody. Very exciting. Uh, next week, this week we had about 200 companies releasing earnings. Next week we have about 700. And the week after we have about probably over 1,000. So we're, earnings season starts full, full bore next week. And who knows, maybe our low floats will, will, will continue to uh, give us lots of excitement too. So if you have any questions for me, I'm sure you might have some. If you have any questions for me, you can use this email address, link for our free room. Please, please, it's a free room. Come into the room tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern. That's when I will open the room. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.